Hey folks, um, today's video is all about fracking. I'm going to try and summarise what's going on in the UK, although the situation is changing quite a lot uh, politically. Um, at the moment there is a pause on fracking, but there is a history to it in the UK that you need to be aware of, and also how it works and what is it. So if you start by just drawing out this rectangle and imagine that this is a cross section through the earth. So the first layer is sand, silt and rock. Okay, and that has to be drilled through in order to get to these shale gas deposits. It's known as shale gas, but obviously it's then processed and used in the same way uh, gas is used for uh, piping into people's houses for central heating, you know, is one example. So if we draw on our uh, land, if you like, so imagine we've got um, a town over here, so we've got some, some buildings, um, okay, and some people over this side, yeah, and then over here we're going to have our sort of fracking tower, okay, so there's a big operation when they come to, to, to do fracking, okay, one of the things that they have is, is a kind of a large tower like this um, and lots and lots of vehicles. So if you draw um, like a truck, okay, with the uh, wheels, there we go, not, not great my effort, but there we go. So if we've got a truck and just write gas on it, okay, and now what happens, all right, is they drill, the hydraulic fracturing is its proper name, and what they do is they send this very clever drill, okay, that goes down, uh, down very, very far. So it can go down about five to eight thousand feet, which is an incredibly long way. But this, the really scary thing about it is it, it can then change direction, okay? So it can go horizontally, like this, it can go diagonally, and it can do that by at least five to eight thousand feet as well. So this is a scary situation. It could be happening even under your home, um, depending on where you live, and you wouldn't even know. Okay, so if we put, um, so if we put uh, an arrow going down with the 5,000 to 8,000 feet, okay, and then just remember it can go along that same distance as well. Now what it does, once it's drilled that um, channel, if you like, that, that space, um, it sends down somewhere in the, a lot of water um, and about 800 different chemicals and sand. I'm just going to put some little dots in here. And then what it does is it fractures the ground, so if you draw some cracks, and it, what happens is the sand then stops the cracks from collapsing and the water is used to pull the gas back up and then obviously it's you know put then you know into the truck uh, and removed and this process is loud it causes earthquakes um, it's a really um, high high co2 use as well to make this happen but the pro the really big problem with it if you draw some circles like this under the ground in this layer okay are our groundwater supplies okay and these are these are all kind of connected okay and they're fed by the water table so if you just put groundwater all right and you might have heard that basically um these groundwater stores can become contaminated by the chemicals used in fracking okay so if we put um, a big arrow over here and we, we get some key points so 800 kind of toxic chemicals and then huge amounts of water um, I think it was something what was it something like 200 trucks loaders of water for each well so this is each well we've got 800 toxic chemicals 200 truck loads of water okay so it has a, a really big impact on fresh water sort of, um, use fresh water stores 
Um, so yes, it's full of chemicals and then obviously um, they use sand as well to keep the cracks open. Now, once they've pulled all that gas back out and they've ferried it off and it's left, okay, they're left with this really toxic water, okay, um, it's not really water anymore, it can't be cleaned in a, in a water treatment plant, so, some of it can but what's left can't be, it's that toxic, um, so what they do um, is they basically just pipe, they'll drill a new line or they'll put it in the existing one and then they'll cap it off and they'll put uh, the chemicals, that toxic flow um, of water with all those chemicals in it back into the ground, okay? So we're going to say that we're going to put um, toxic uh, waste water pumped back underground. Okay, I'm going to put an exclamation mark there because I think that's just the worst part of it. So you can see the risk of getting contamination into water sources which you know ultimately make their way to human beings. Um, it's quite it's quite high okay and in America where they've done this an awful lot more than here they have had instances where individuals, people, families are all um, have all been complaining about the impacts of that. So what do we need to know about in the UK? There are 200 sites that have been fracked in terms of they've drilled, they've made a well or they've um, gone to look at a site and started doing things. So it's 200 sites in the UK have been hydraulically fracked or have been hydraulic um, fra fracked okay um, what this means is we've had things like we're gonna put I know we've got some cons in there already but we have had um, increased earthquakes now we only have very small earthquakes in the UK anyway, but some of the ones that we've seen with fracking have actually been quite sizable for us, you know, mid three to four on the Richter scale. So that's been a bit of a problem. Obviously it's been bad for people locally. There's been increased noise pollution because the noise of that drill and all the vehicles. Uh, increased congestion. Now, Congestion is where there's too many vehicles on the road and very often this is happening in kind of rural areas and so these lorries, these trucks, and this, huge, this is a huge operation, they are clogging up the roads and causing a big problem for local people. There is also a high um, cost to fracking. It's not cheap at all. And greenhouse gases are pushed up so it uses CO2 which increases greenhouse gases. This is really bad news obviously for the climate and it's something that just sort of goes against the whole push that we have towards renewables. Um, and then I guess the really scary one is 25% of the chemicals so that's the 800 different chemicals. So we're talking about 200 roughly, um, cause cancer. So, you know, this is not um, by any means to scare everyone, but this is a public health issue. If those chemicals get into groundwater stores and make their way into people's drinking water, um, as they have done in America, we you know we've seen some really significant um, public health issues from that. Um, and the final one is it can in cause an increase in pollution of surface water. Okay, just through leakage. Okay, so you can see there's a long list, isn't there, of negatives. So what, why are they doing it? <laughs> What's the point? Um, let's put the pros 
or positives over here, okay? Now that there aren't loads, all right, so let's just be clear on that one. Um, the first and biggest and most important pro is the fact we have a lot of it. So uh, the UK, uh, and we really do have a lot, has a lot of shale gas reserves. And, and we need this to provide us with electricity. I know obviously we've got renewables, but if you're the government and you're trying to keep the country uh, secure with their energy needs, it's almost understandable why you might look into this as a solution. Okay, um, so we have a lot of shale gas. This would give us energy security. At the moment, we do not have enough energy um, to power everything we need to power. We just don't have enough. So we have to buy it in from other countries and that means spending money at prices we don't set to countries that we maybe even don't want to be doing business with. So energy security, would mean we could just use our own gas and not be reliant on getting it from other countries. Okay, so less reliance on importing gas. Okay, so there's not many pros, arguably. Um, and this isn't to scare you because currently, it's really important that you know this, since 2019, they have suspended fracking. That means it has been paused in this country. So I think we'll just put that down here, shall we? So since 2019, fracking has been suspended. Now there are still wells and areas where the company that was doing this at the time is called Quadrilla. Um, might as well know that. Uh, let's put over here, okay? C U A D R I L L A. That's the company, and they are basically saying to the government at the moment, in fact, it's 2025 at the moment, they are saying, um, you know, to give us energy security, please don't completely shut these wells, just pause this operation because actually, you know, we would like to do this in the future to give us more energy security. So um, watch this space, I guess. Um, watch this space and let's all cross our fingers and hope it doesn't ever get approved ever again. But um, we'll have to just wait and see. All right, I hope that's helpful.